would definitely be a bright night. But you we could might read on that night, perhaps. Yes. Some call it the bright nights effect. In ancient Rome, it was the nocturnal sun, a glow in the evening sky that turned night into day. Well, the Romans, uh, of course, were living in a, a dark night situation, and they would obviously spend uh, time out at night and in the dark, and it would be obvious to them when something like this, this happened. And they also wrote these things down. In research that uniquely combines pure science with historical anecdotes, Dr. Shepard and his colleague at York University, Young Min Cho, used instruments designed and built in Canada, installed on a satellite and taken into orbit by the space shuttle. What they call air glow is a coming together of high energy waves from the Earth's surface with winds in the upper atmosphere. Because you have to ask where these waves in the high atmosphere are coming from, and they're produced by uh, severe weather at ground level. So the origin is really, really on the ground. And you have these waves propagating up, and they produce these other waves in the, in the high atmosphere. That's why climate change that produces more disruptive weather could actually mean more bright nights. The trouble is, we can't see them anymore. Our planet today is simply too well illuminated by artificial light. Dr. Shepard says we've lost touch with what was once an awe-inspiring phenomenon. It's like losing animal species and whatever, and uh, you know, it will be history in the sense that it, you'll only be able to look back on records of it. You won't be able to, uh, to experience it. For all uh, practical purposes, it's, uh, it's gone. Technology and prosperity may have eclipsed the nocturnal sun of the Romans, but at least, thanks to two Canadian scientists, we know how in earlier, darker times, night could become day. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera.